Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kosher kitchen tour. And this kitchen is a little bit different because I share it with three other people. This is my house in school, so my kitchen at school. And I live with three other religious girls and we obviously share the kitchen. So I'm going to be showing you what our kitchen looks like, how we keep kosher, how we organize things, things like that. If you're curious on like how to, when you move into a new place, how to make things kosher, you can watch my Passover videos because for Passover you have to re kosher everything, even though it is perfectly kosher, you have to make it kosher again. So it is the standards for Passover. So I can link that above because I have a few Passover videos. But without further ado, let's go get to my kitchen tour. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the fridge. There's not really any kosher considerations you need to make in the fridge because everything's cold, everything's closed and nothing should be touching or else that's kind of messy. But we do have one fridge. If religious families have two fridges, it's just because they wanna hold more food to store more food, not have to go to stores often, things like that. It's really not for kosher reasons. I've never seen or met anyone that has a dairy fridge and a meat fridge. So a typical fridge with pictures and recipes, things like that. This is at the beginning of the semester, so the fridge and the freezer are not as full as they usually are, but this is the freezer. As you see, my roommate brought a big thing of cheese. I also brought some cheese and just like this big thing of soup I made at home. I brought other things at home, from home. One of the reasons that our, fri our freezer is always really full is because there are some things that we can't get kosher in upstate New York or at least where we live in upstate New York, so we bring those. So um, that's like cheese, any type of beef, so ground beef or steak. Um, chicken we can get, but sometimes I'll bring the beginning of the semester anyway, just cause it's like whatever I buy it at home or maybe I'll make stuff and already freeze it at home. So I did make some stuff at home just because I had the time. And then also our freezer is really full because we'll meal prep because we're all really busy. So we fill up the freezer with things that we can just defrost and quickly make. Now in the fridge, again, it is not full at all because right now, just me and one of my other roommates are home. The other two have not moved into the semester yet, but. Pretty typical fridge. Again, not very full because it is the beginning of the semester and only me and my, one of my other roommates are here. One Jewish thing that we do with our fridge is we tape the light because, oh, well, I can open it right now. So there is a light, but we close it for Shabbat so that the light doesn't go on and off. And last year we were really good at taping the fridge before Shabbat. This year there were like three weeks in a row where we didn't tape the fridge and then is a whole situation. So lately we've just been keeping the fridge light off. So moving on to the sink area, you'll notice that there are two sinks and we actually have them labeled dairy and meat. So people who keep kosher try to have two sinks. If you only have one sink, that's okay. Not a big deal. There is a way to still have a kosher kitchen and a kosher sink if you only have one sink, but we are very lucky and have two sinks. The reason that they are labeled is, well, one, just so we remember. I mean, we do have the color sponges that help us, but also we just host a lot. There's a lot of people in our house all the time. So that way, when we just say, oh, it's the dairy sink, they know where to put it. Or if they know something is blue, which is usually the color of dairy, then they can put it in the dairy sink. So in the dairy sink, we have a blue sponge. In the meat sink, we have an orange sponge. And then we have a green sponge, which is part of which we don't keep in either sink. And part of it is neutral, so those are things that are not meat or dairy, so like eggs, fish, vegetables, etc. So you'll notice that we do have a dishwasher, but we don't actually use it. And this is because there are different opinions of if you can kosher, if you can make kosher dishwasher, because this is not a new kitchen, meaning we are not the first people to live in this house. People have used it before and the inside is plastic and there are various rabbis with various opinions of if you can make a dishwasher kosher or not. I use my dishwasher at home because we moved into an apartment that is new construction. So we were the first people to ever use the kitchen. So we do use our dishwasher and we use our dishwasher just for meat stuff. So anything that uses our meat, pots, pans, things like that can go in the dishwasher. As I mentioned before, we have the different color sponges and we also have a dish rack to put all of our wet, clean dishes. Cause as I mentioned, we don't use the dishwasher. This is our dish rack. Put stuff on the top, put stuff on the bottom. As you see, I wash stuff. And then sometimes if we have a lot of dishes, we'll go on the counter or put towels down. And then we have a holder for the utensils. It doesn't actually matter um, 
if we put the dairy utensils here, the meat utensils here, they're clean, they're, they're cold, you know, there's no residue. We just do that honestly because it's easier to put away. So I'm putting things away. I can just put all the, I'm washing things, put all the dairy ones in here. When I'm ready to put the dishes away, I can grab all the dairy utensils and then put them in this drawer. So to show you a few more appliances before I get to storage space. This is the oven. We only have one. This is what it looks like. Very standard oven. And then we have this toaster oven for dairy stuff or really if we just want anything toasted, then we would use this. Then we have our meat microwave. This is labeled fleshik, which means meat in Yiddish. My roommate labeled that. So we have this. Then this is our coffee station and our dairy microwave. And this is just a Keurig. I don't use it, my roommates do, but it's very cute. And this is a hot water urn, it is not currently on, but we do use it during the week. It has chol, which is weekday, Shabbat and Yantif, so we can switch it to any of the modes. So we can use it on Shabbat and then we can switch, switch it to weekday mode and have hot water. Okay, so I'm going to start the tour of where we keep stuff with the parv section. Again, parv means neutral, it's not meat and it's not dairy. So we have this. Um, we kind of have a few mixing bowls, containers, mugs, not super exciting. Reminder that this is a college dorm and it's a college apartment where we live. So there's, there is a lot of storage, but not a ton. And we are on a college budget. So not everything is organized as nicely as I hoped, but it's all clean. So here we just have utensils. Again, kind of a messy drawer, but we have knives, peeler, uh, part of measuring cups, some part of utensils things like that, kind of a junk drawer too. We have like chopsticks and stuff in here. And then down here is where we keep pots, pans, cookie sheets, cutting boards. Again, these are all par, these are all neutral. Up here, we mainly use for storage, but this is a really big meat pot that we can make soup in. And we have some pitchers. I don't really know what the things on top are, but we don't really use those that much. So let's move on to the meat section. So we have this cabinet, pretty normal stuff. We have plates and bowls, containers, mixing bowls, measuring cups, pots, things like that, and cups. The only difference between this and a not Jewish kitchen or a regular kitchen is that this is everything is kosher and everything here we only use for meat. That's why you see this red theme going on because red is usually the sign for meat. And I say usually because you'll, you'll see what I mean when I, I get to the dairy section. Okay, full disclosure, I did not organize this, so this is kind of a chaos. And again, we have a lot of stuff, not really places to store it, but we have cookie sheets, cutting boards, pots, pans, things like that. Okay, so here we are at the dairy section. Now, you might notice that there are some things that are red. So for example, these plates are red, and these plates are kind of colorful. We got a lot of our dishes from my roommate's older sister who was in college once and now is not, now she's married. So she, these were hers, she bought these. So she thought the this red of this plate matched the red in here. So she wanted to be dairy. We know it's dairy. Um, we don't mess up because we know that our dairy plates are either blue or this like salmon color and our meat plates are all white. So yeah, and there's also a sticker at the bottom. So that's just what she decided and then these red bowls also are to match this red. Um, we know it's dairy. It's like, it was a little confusing at first, but we know it's dairy. And then all of these mugs here are dairy. Also my house, like at home, all of our mugs are dairy. It's just easier. I don't know, I don't drink coffee. I don't really eat dairy, but if people were to, or even for tea, not a big deal. And then we have containers, a bunch of blue cups, some tumblers, and then this very top shelf, which you can't see. The shelf all the way at the top, the one that has the garbage bag, that is our stuff for Passover, so we keep that up there. So when Passover rolls around, then we can take it out. And these are all of our dairy utensils. So obviously the eating utensils and then cooking utensils like whisk, these wooden spoons, pizza cutter. I don't know what this is, but that thing, I'm sure we have an ice cream scoop in there, all dairy. Okay, again, not super organized, but everything is clean. It's cookie sheets, pots, pans, again, all dairy. And then this is just your classic under the sink cleaning supplies. Um, yeah, again, not organized. We're in college, we don't have so much time. And then this is our pantry. The very top shelf is the communal shelf. Then this is one roommate, this is my shelf, another roommate, another roommate. So again, every single thing in here is kosher and we have 
our place to put our snacks and stuff like that. And then the top are spices and things that we share. So that's it. That is my college kosher kitchen. T things could definitely be organized better, but alas, this is just what it is. We kind of have fallen into a routine. We know where everything is. All of us keep kosher and we care about kosher. So I never have a concern of if my roommates are gonna bring something in not kosher or cook something not kosher, or I never have a concern if, you know, people mess up and I know my roommates will let me know if they messed up so I can kosher something or they just kosher it or just let me know, um, let everyone know. Really not a big deal, it's just communication. We all trust each other, we all trust that everything everyone's buying is kosher, things like that. And yeah, it's kind of our norm. This is what we do, what we choose, how we choose to eat, so this is our lives. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, you can leave questions in the comments below, or I'm really wanting to do a Q&A video so you can fill out the Google form that is also below. And once I get enough questions, then I will do a Q&A video. So thanks again for watching. Bye.